What's up, Heat fans? Back again, it's your boy, Ernest, and I'm here with another Miami Heat video. Um, guys, I'm smiling because I woke up today. I woke up next to my wife and daughter. It's a beautiful day. Um, we got to let the negativity get pushed aside, and we have to look forward to what's good. We got to look forward in the positivity in our life, and we have to understand that every day we're given by God, it is a blessed day. Now that I've said all that, let's just bash the Miami Heat for a couple minutes, can we? <laughs> Guys, y'all know the drill. Like, comment, hit the notification bell. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Let's get rolling. Uh, that game last night was trash. I'm going to repeat that word again. Trash. We lost to the Denver Nuggets 123-106. to and my mind is still trying to fathom how the hell did we let that happen. Now look, Jimmy wasn't going to play yesterday. And all of a sudden, he's playing. So I'm thinking, this is gold. Jimmy Buckets is going to play. We got this. They don't have Jamal Murray. It sucks, but we got this. We didn't have it. We didn't have anything. We kept up close in the first quarter. And in the second quarter, they blew us out, man. They outscored us 34 to 18 in the second quarter. And Denver never looked back. You know, you got, man, Jokic is a beast. You know, there's a reason why that they're saying he's an MVP candidate. He's proving time and time again that he is one of the most dominant big men in this league. Um, one of the most out of shape NBA players, but it doesn't matter. The guy is very skilled. He is a triple-double machine. Uh, and last night, we just weren't there. You know, Jimmy Butler had 13 points. He played 28 minutes. But guys, you know, he's playing with an ankle injury. And he understands how important these games are for us. So I'm sure that's the reason why he played. And then when Dragic wasn't playing either, I'm sure Jimmy was just like, I got to do this. Um, we've all seen it from Jimmy, especially last year in the NBA Finals. There is no quit in this guy. He is our leader. And he is trying to do everything he can to lead us into the promised land. But it is hard, especially with games like this. Especially when you got games like Tyler Hero scoring just five points. Now look, we all got our bad games, I get that. But my dude, you play 28 minutes, you a scorer, you score five points, we got a problem. Now you're going to have a lot of these Heat fans that are going to be like, Oh, well we should have included Tyler Hero for Kyle Lowry and we don't have Kyle Lowry now. It does not matter. You keep a player like Tyler Hero. Do not deny Pat Riley for stuff like that. It was a smart decision not trading Tyler, but he needs to get his together. Uh, Duncan Robinson hits nine points. Duncan, you're better than that. Um, we know you're going to scrape it off and move forward. Us fans got nothing but faith in you. It was awesome to see Trevor Ariza score 13 points. Um, you can see that Trevor Ariza starting to adapt with this team. Look, when we traded for him, I said in my mind, this is going to be another Jay Crowder. Y'all know exactly how I feel about Jay Crowder. The fact that we lost him in free agency really hit us bad. Um, I don't think Trevor Ariza is an upgrade. I don't even think he's at the same level as Jay Crowder. But he can have Jay Crowder type of games. And Jay Crowder is not really doing anything this season. But with our system, we saw what he could do. You know, Jay Crowder, a lot of times in the bubble, was knocking down 16 points and hitting threes from everywhere. Um, because of how this team was playing together. So you hope that that happens for Trevor Ariza, and little by little, he's gaining that. Uh, my dude, Bam Adebayo, having a dominant game with 21 points. Uh, you have Kendrick Nunn playing, coming, uh, starting in the team, playing, getting 16 points. Um, so I like to see that with a guy like Kendrick Nunn, because when Oladipo came to the team, uh, Spolstra knocked Nunn down. And I'm sure that gets to his confidence. You know, I don't care what these players say. They're youngins. They're in their 20s. So when you're in your 20s, your feelings usually get to you. That's when you're your most amped, your most hype, your teen and your 20 years. Um, so I'm sure it probably gets to him, but you don't see that on the court. And that is the terms of a true professional. I've always said it. This Miami Heat team, this Miami Heat culture turns good players into great players. And we see that time and time again, but we did not see that last night. And that sucks. Um, Dragic was out. Oladipo was out. We don't know when Oladipo is going to be back. So that's scary. Um, we need this team to be 100% healthy. I've said that in every video. And that's a dumb thing to say. But I'm going to continue to say it. We need our guys healthy. We're getting to the nitty gritty. The playoffs are just a little bit away. 
you know, we need to get it together. Right now, we went down to the seventh seed. So as of right now, the Miami Heat are in the play-in tournament. We do not want that. We want top six. I want fourth. I believe this team can be the fourth seed. We got a game against the Timberwolves tomorrow that I'm really thinking we can get that dub. I don't see no reason why we can't win. Uh, but unless something like last night happens, and shoot, we're stuck. But, guys, one thing about this Miami Heat team that I've always noticed is that we prevail. We prevail. And the way that we prevail is with the positivity from us, and we have to influence that within our team. I'm going to continue to do that, and I hope all of you do that with me. Uh, I'm going to be watching the Timberwolf game, guys. Um, so I'm going to be doing the best that I can. Now, um, to answer one of the comments that was left in my last video, Chad, um, I, I see what you mean. Uh, I, I see how Tyler Hero is not looking like himself. Um, he's 21. It's going to it's gonna snap off. You know, I, I'm seeing it now. Tyler Hero is going to have a game soon where he busts out with 30-something points, and everybody's going to jump on the bandwagon again. I believe in Tyler Hero. I think this was a smart decision not trading Tyler Hero. I understand that people are saying, well, you probably should have made that trade because you get Kyle Lowry, and Kyle Lowry is a professional. Well, look, Kyle Lowry got injured, so he ain't playing right now, so um, it, it's not that easy. And even in playoff time, you want a guy with fresh legs like Tyler Hero. I think it was a smart decision for Miami keeping Tyler. I don't care how bad he does. Moving forward, it was the smart decision. Um, so, guys, let me hear from you. Let me hear what you guys think. What do you guys think about that game? I know we can't really talk about much positivity, uh, but there is a little bit to talk about. It was great to see that our team did not give up fighting. In the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, they continued to take it to Denver. Unfortunately, that second quarter hit us hard, um, and we weren't able to come back from it. Um, and before I finish this video and close this out, I want to send prayers and positivity and love to LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, he announced his retirement today. Uh, I made some comments about LaMarcus Aldridge a few, a few weeks ago when he decided not to come to Miami and go to Brooklyn. I called him a coward. Um, I mean, I'm not going to take back what I say. I don't regret anything. When I say something, I say it, and it is what it is. So I'm not going to be that guy. Uh, but I will say that, you know, obviously you don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. I don't wish sickness, death, or hurt, or pain to anybody. I wish nothing but love and positivity. Uh, so for you, LaMarcus Aldridge, I wish you a speedy recovery. Hope everything gets well with you. And my prayers for you and your family. So, guys, let me hear from you. Let me know what you think about this video. Hit that like button. Comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit that notification bell. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, it's your boy Ernest out. And that's enough said.